Hello, this is Steven from Online Unlocks and I'll present you a tutorial on uh, how to safely root and remove the NOX flag for Android 4.3 on the US versions of Samsung Galaxy S3, S4 and many others and not only Samsung, other brands are supported also. First of all, you need to download the files needed for routing and uh, the Samsung drivers these are needed that uh, your phone uh, is detected by the PC. You will find uh, the links in the article I've written about this root method. And the link for the article is in the description of this video. You can look at the below. After you save them on your desktop, extract the safe root files and uh, start installing the Samsung drivers. I had the Samsung driver already installed, but just to show you, we'll just install it again. If you have them installed, don't, it's no need to install, install them again. Also, to verify if your phone is uh, detected properly, properly by the PC, it's a good idea to open uh, Device Manager and uh, when your phone will uh, be connected, it uh, should show there as uh, an ADB device or Samsung ADB. Have to wait until the drivers are installed for Samsung. After the installation is over, just uh, go ahead, open the folder that you just extracted with the safe root file. From there, double click on the run file and uh, should open a command prompt. Just double click in the command prompt and uh, will tell you that it's waiting for the device. It's waiting for you to connect your phone. So go ahead and connect the phone. I just did and uh, the drivers are installing but since I forgot to put USB debugging on, it's very important to put it on because that way will uh, be detected by the root tool. So go in settings developer options and put USB debug debugging on. If uh, you have a new Android version and uh, you don't see developer options, means it's hidden and you have to enable it from settings about and tap 10 times on the build number. Okay, I enable it and connect it and like you see, it's detect detected by my PC. I just zoomed in a bit so you can see better what's happening in the root program. Normally it should be detected, the phone should be detected and uh, like uh, you see now but uh, in case the phone is not detected and you wait uh, more than a, let's say a minute and still the routing hasn't started just uh, reconnect the phone the phone should uh, prompt you to enable uh, USB debugging to allow USB debugging please select yes always when asking to allow the USB debugging select yes and uh, just wait until the root is, uh, is done basically everything is done automatically for you you just have to wait and uh, in fact you don't uh, even have to wait that much normally it takes about uh, two or three minutes but for some phones it has took even more just uh, there are basically two steps search call sim and the kernel dump and afterwards just uh, you have to wait for the message that the root was successful you will see here in uh, a few seconds okay here it is just uh, have to press now any key so the phone will reboot this means the root part of the process is basically done so the next part is uh, for the removing of the NOX flag after the phone has uh, rebooted by itself you should see a prompt on the phone screen asking you to grant root access to Boosy Box. This will disable the NOX flag. That was all for the routing and removing the NOX flag. This is very useful when trying to unlock the new Android phones with uh, 4.3. So if you need to do that, please visit us at onlineunlock.com. Also, if you need any extra help for routing the phone, please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.